Good morning, traders, and welcome to the Bookmap Advanced Education uh, and live trading webinars here. Uh, today's a live analysis. Uh, tomorrow we'll be live trading with JTrader uh, at 10 a.m. and then um, uh, Scott uh, live trading on Thursday. So let's uh, let's jump in here and um, uh, start to go through it. Good morning, Alan. Um, I know Alan. I'll, I will call you, um, reach out to you here. Um, I just had, needed to put a, a few more things together for the uh, uh, moderator's room, uh, and then uh, uh, and then wanted to call you. All right, so I'm sorry I didn't get to it. it it'll happen <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, good morning, Daryl. Um, and uh, let's see, Vishal, uh, you have a question. What's the difference between sliding some? Yeah, I can show you uh, where to go uh, for that uh, immediately. Good morning, Doug. Or email you. Yeah, may, maybe Alan, uh, one or the other. Um, uh, anyway, let's go through the risk disclosures here and general disclosure. Uh, and uh, let me get to uh, Vishal's uh, question as well. Um, all bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Uh, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, so let's uh, jump in here uh, and um, uh, take a look and see what's going on. We're just, just finished the, the last webinar here uh, and um, let's open up some of our stop iceberg stuff here. Uh, interesting, uh, not seeing a whole lot here in this S&P, but uh, just, just recently seen some kind of interesting stuff here. Uh, move up into, um, as you can see, the cash open, or even before nine o'clock here. Um, look at the liquidity underneath here, and, <coughs> and um, uh, you know they they meant business. Uh, uh, you know they're getting getting filled in here. They kind of dropped it here and then rose it right back up though. Uh, and um, uh, we see the bullish activity immediately uh, after that, and it never even came back down. Nine thirty cash open, kind of uh, just dipped down below, and then and then uh, bullish again right up into high liquidity here, at forty eight. And then just traded up into 50 and a little bit above it. All right, we were watching it here in the previous webinar uh, and noted that um, wow, okay, uh, they're starting to come in on the offer here. Um, and it was actually even before that we started to note like this looks good, everything's looking good, everything's bullish here, looking for 52. And then they can't quite make a higher high here. We we start to see some selling in some of these little areas here. Uh, they come into the book here. And then selling here, looking for the move back down. Okay, uh, I think we looked for it even earlier, uh, back up into here. But uh, move back down into here and immediately bounces back up. Okay, cannot get through it though. They don't even tangle with it really. Uh, and then look at this, look at this double top pattern up here, uh, guys. We already have kind of a bearish slant here, and if they can't mount another attack here, we're gonna find the sellers, right? And uh, it made it made a lower high here as well. Okay, it did not even come up to this this little lower high as well, right in right in here. It could not even get to it, right? And what do we see up here? We see sellers. Okay, so we have a retest back up here. It cannot make the high. We have uh, a lot of uh, supply here, uh, a lot of limit sell orders, and we're starting to find some sellers. Okay, aggressive sellers. They're pulling down here. Yeah. It, this is all boding pretty well for a move lower into lower liquidity, okay? The first thing we look for are the structure, uh, the swings, okay? Uh, and we also look at the liquidity, okay? We wanna match the swings with the liquidity. Uh, in this case, um, or there's not too much of a match, it's more eh, a little bit lower here, and they even pull here, right? Uh, so even these guys don't want to get filled in, on the bid here. It's not a deal for them. Uh, they they jump back in, but they pull yet again here, right? So uh, we have kind of a reversal uh, pattern taking place here, uh, <laughs> and uh, it's it's pretty nicely orchestrated. Uh, this this little uh, you know uh, imbalance up here um, on the retest uh, gives us some some nice insight. Okay. All right, so uh, anyway, we get down below the swing, uh, and again, uh, buyers try to mount another attack here. Um, it kind of fails. Uh, we see some selling starting to come in a little bit more. Yes, looking for the drop, okay? And we got it here, all right? So uh, it dropped all the way back down to uh, the low of the day here, 
Okay, it didn't quite make it below it though. Okay, so uh, uh, you can you can see it's struggling to, right? It's 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 not quite below it yet, right? And you can see that uh, we're starting to see some volatility now, uh, really starting to pop into the market. Okay, buyers all of a sudden are finding it a, a deal down here, okay? <laughs> and they they just bought a ton, brought it right back up to the top of the range here. Okay, now let's go let's look at this moving forward here. All right. Um, I also, I, I do want to go over something that's hindsight um, that was uh, yesterday. I just want to, I want to reiterate though and make make the point about the order flow on the higher time frame. Okay. So um, uh, anyway, and look at the buying up here, right? It, 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 there's not a whole lot of buying here. Nice buying here and then up, even up to here is not bad. Okay. But up here, we don't, we don't really find it, right? And it didn't even break this swing high either. Okay, so I'm looking for sellers below this little pivot point right here where these buyers are. If we see sellers here, I'm looking for the move into 41 and a half. All right. All right, let's see if they come in. They're already pulling here. Sellers hit it right into 41 and a half. All right, some selling, not quite enough. In fact, a little, little. See the, see the exhaustion here. Okay, but uh, this is really kind of smaller time frame stuff. Okay. Again, we're right back down, looking for the sellers, and let's see if they hit it here. Nope. Buyer support it. Okay, so back up here again, and they're pulling on the offer. So, and we're finding a few buyers, but uh, it's really, yeah, it's really kind of range bound this year. Um, back down again. All right, let's see if we can get some sellers here yet again. I mean, guys, even in this little structure here, I'm not going over it. I just can't speak fast enough here um, uh, because, uh, you know, there's little highs and little lows in here as well as like uh, rejections in here. It's the same stuff we're covering though. It's just happening at a much higher, um, you know, frequency. Uh, and um, there was a little bit of bullishness in here. So I even thought maybe they kind of spike it back up to 47 here. Um, but um, uh, now, okay, now let's see if we get our sellers here. Okay, because now we're making lower highs and lower lows. Here we go to our sellers. Let's see them try to drop it now. Okay, that we did make a lower low here. Okay, so I'm looking for one more test, retest back down here and sellers, we should get the drop into this liquidity here. Okay, there we go. They're pulling here. It's open door for them. Let's see the sellers hit it again. We should get it. Boy, we're just not getting a whole bunch. Okay, there they go. There we go. There's now they're kind of pushing it through. All right, so we got our move down to well, not quite 41 and a half yet, but I, I'm looking for them to do it. They sh we should get the move to 41 and a half here. Okay, uh, and uh, that will be the low of the day here, or the low of the cash session. Okay, and let's see if they can push it below it. So, okay, we got a new low here. All right, so let's see where else we can go here. Go down to 40 or maybe even 37 and a half here, or 38, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so seller's starting to take control. Uh, and... Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think this was, uh, you know, kind of well illustrated here uh, in terms of uh, and seeing this kind of, uh, um, uh, you know, reversal pattern here. So uh, uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, the um, uh, good morning, Uri. Um, anyway, the uh, 
it was it was some of the structure in here that started to look pretty good. Also, this on the offer up here looked pretty good. Um, not able to make those higher highs, but this in here, here was that last little gas, but they, they traded down to this liquidity here and we got the, the bump, cannot make the high though. And then this little double top here, okay? And this this retest up here, not able to follow through. That That's where we got the, some, some nice insight, okay? Looking for the sellers, they're gonna drop it back down to here. Um, and then uh, one of the, the first things to look for, just to kind of reduce risk on these kinds of trades, uh, is take some profit at some of the swings, okay? I don't know about maybe this one. I you, You'd probably be looking for maybe the drop to this one here because the reason being is like uh, there's quite a bit of liquidity up here. We can't get through it, and they're pulling in here, right? If they're not going to stay in the book in here, likely we're not We're going to go below this little swing and neck to the next one, all right? So, and then, and then I would be taking some partial profit, all right? Um, you know, even there's not even liquidity down here as well. You know, you can see it kind of went through and, and then it, then it kind of bounced back a little bit, but, uh, anyway, uh, that's a, a potential way to, to manage, uh, and think about, um, you know, this kind of activity in here. Okay. How to trade it. All right, let's see what's happening now. Uh, and then we'll we'll take a look at this. I, I want to show you guys the higher time frame from yesterday, okay? And, and we'll look at today's as well, okay? And we'll integrate that into what we're looking at in Bookmap. Okay, interesting, interesting stuff here. Um, they, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, <coughs> didn't really kind of see this one uh, and still don't really see it in here. It looks like sellers... You know, there's more selling on this leg right here, okay? And uh, and they're selling down here as well. It's a nice little bump back to where it dropped from here, okay? But usually we see uh, uh, something like that and then typically continuation here, okay? Now, uh, what we're seeing instead is the move back up to this bump here, okay? And then uh, we, we covered this, um, we've covered it many times, but um, yesterday we kind of saw something similar. Um, this is again our pivot point here, right? There's a bunch of pivot points in here, okay, where we look for the order flow to uh, potential shift and change. Okay, the other one is uh, was kind of up here. It's actually up here. Yeah, we're looking for the for the for the drop. Um, uh, anyway, the. Uh, uh, What's interesting about it here is there's you know some sell, some nice selling in here okay some nice selling uh, in here as well not, or not bad uh, and then buyers back up above that area though okay usually on the retest of this we're not looking for the buyers uh, to pop up through that right now they did so we're, we're finding buyers here they're going to go to the other side of the range okay and they've already tested it they've already gone to that liquidity up here. Uh, at 47. All right. So now uh, let's see if that that means that these guys are trapped uh, down here. And you can see it very very clearly here. Right. All right. Now the question is is will the buyer continue here? Or is that it for? Are they done? And are we going to get sellers and try to drop it down below that pivot point yet again? Okay. So far, um, I mean they're on the bid here. We're, we found a little bit of selling, but nothing down here. Okay, here's our retest to that area. Let's see, they're, they're lowering the offer in here as well. So, uh, and here they go even more here. Let's see the reaction. Okay, so we found some sellers. All right, sellers, let's see you try to drop it down to this 42 and a quarter. Looks like I'm gonna try to push it through. And this guy's starting to pull a little bit, so maybe he'll come down to 40, we'll come down to 41 here. It's the same player he pulled here and added a little bit down there. All right, now if these guys bought in here and this is new buying and there's some, okay, well then we're looking for stops to be triggered down, down here around 41.
there's our double bottom pattern, but it's kind of in the middle of the range here. But see, see how that, see how that offers like a, a chance for buyers to come, come back in, right, right here, right. Okay, so we're kind of banging around this pivot point here, um, but that's some pretty strong buying, not bad. All right, trying to lift it back up. Con concept on this um, uh, uh, pattern here is even kind of a mini head and shoulders, but the concept on it is very simple. Uh, selling here, a retest, and then no selling in here, and then buyers hop in on the other side. Okay, so it retested, it rejected. So you're gonna find your buyers, they're gonna trade it back into value. Okay, and that's exactly what they did. Okay, not the greatest value area, but like they did trade it back up into this kind of area where there's a lot more volume up here. And again, here, look at that. All right, so let's see if buyers come in now up here, okay, uh, up at 45 and maybe 45 and a quarter. Okay, if we get buyers up here, then we're, we're looking for the move to 47. And then we're not finding them, not finding the buyers. Okay, we're starting to find some, a little bit of selling here. No, no real insight right now, guys. Not, nothing, nothing really kind of shaking here at the moment. And it's right in the middle of our, our pivot as well. Anyway, we, we know, uh, and, and it's just, it's so good to reiterate this again. I mean, even for, for myself, I mean, what are we looking for? We're looking for some sort of edge uh, uh, angle on this. Uh, we're looking for where uh, they're taking control and moving it away from value. Okay, so buyers are here, here they go. They're mounting their attack here, okay? So we're getting buyers up here at this level here. This is what it takes to start to move it away from this area here. Okay, so we need to see a retest back up here again, and we're not getting it right now. Sellers are coming right back in on the other side. Okay, okay, and, and if they can mount their attack here, we're going to come right back down to what we were looking at earlier, this 42 and a quarter. Okay, anyway, let's, if we, okay, there's some exhaustion there. Let's see, do we get some buyers here at 44? And do we get more up here at this kind of 45? Okay then we have the potential now to come up to 47, right? Okay, and they're gonna try to move it away with buying pressure away from this area here. That's what we're looking for. Okay, and uh, not, not quite seeing it yet. It's just not, you know, it's it's really, we're looking for it. And I'm trying to illustrate the point here. I, I don't think it's a it's a, 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 a high probability uh, uh, that this is going to work out here. Um, uh, we can just see sellers mount, just all of a sudden dump in here. I mean, that that's the, the thing about looking at smaller time frames. But anyway, we need to read the order flow. We need to go through this this process. Uh, and we can extrapolate that to the higher time frames. Okay, I thought the read over here was so much easier. Like, look at the selling pressure in here, right? And look what we're trying to read that in here right now. And you can just see it's it's just muddled, right? Okay, here we go. Okay, this is much better. Okay, let's see them try to lift this higher. Okay, back up into 47. Okay, that looks much better. Okay, see the distinction? Okay, I think we can go up, in, up into uh, uh, 50 here. Okay, that's that's enough volume to break this here. Okay, the bid bid is see the see the kind of lightish blue underneath though. That's support. They're supporting this. Okay, now I'd love to see these guys at at this 47 uh, level here start to pull some of that liquidity as well, and I'd love to see the reaction be more buying. Okay, we're not getting that right now.
All right, let me get to some questions here. There's quite a few that just came in. Uh, let's see, yesterday, William, you asked about, good morning, uh, about the stops on the chart. Uh, did not hear, it was an alpha release. Uh, yes, it is. Um, uh, so, or it's a, it's a beta release actually, uh, William. And uh, yeah, it's it's kind of in beta testing. It will be released soon, but very soon now. Uh, still, you know, still some some things that we are changing in there. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, we can't wait to give give it out to to everybody. Okay, but we're still kind of in testing. Oh, okay, Vishal, yeah, you wanted the the, the difference between. Um, yeah, actually, this is what I'm going to do, Vishal, is I'm going to send you to our knowledge base. Uh, sorry about that. Um, is, this is going to dis, dis, um, uh, describe it better and quicker than I can. All right, so let's go to bookmap.com, uh, and then we're going to go to our we're going to go to our knowledge base and our blog. Let's go to our blog here. Okay, and in the knowledge base, actually, if you come up to the top of the knowledge base and you go to add-ons, all right? Uh, I think it, uh, you can, and then you click on the add-on here, stops an iceberg on chart or liquidity, or let's see, sub-chart as well, the yeah, sub-chart one. Let's go to that one. Yeah, so in here, uh, it goes through and, and tells you exactly what it is here, okay? There's also our knowledge, uh, I'm sorry, that blog that I was just mentioning to you, okay? Uh, and uh, if you scroll down a bit, okay, so there, that's that's where it'll it'll be described for you, uh, and you'll see the distinctions, uh, understand the differences. Uh, also here, it's in this, this article here that we put together on the blog. Uh, I can put this in the chat for you. All right, there you go. <coughs> And uh, that that will uh, answer your question. All right. Uh, and Vishal, your CVD. Um, okay, guys. Like you, you can see, like it 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 just stopped short of this here, and we didn't find enough buyers. And and uh, right back down to the pivot here. And then sellers try now trying to they're trying to do the opposite, you know they're trying to drive it back down. I mean we're really just kind of bashing around this this pivot point right now still, you know to one side and then to the other. Anyway, yeah we were looking for this to to continue and it and it failed. Um, now here 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 they're going to mount their uh, uh, charge again here. Okay, let's uh, looking for them to, to try to reach it to 46 liquidity here. These guys pulled here at 47 and then lowered it to 46, as you can see. And we have buyers interested. Okay, so let's see if they can um, drive it uh, right back up into here, looking for it. Okay, if they can't, if they can't, and we get back down, see this little area where we, we found the buyers to initiate this move, and we get sellers here, we're going lower. Okay, we got enough now to, to go lower here. Right. In in my opinion, I mean, we'll, we'll see, you know, what the order flow looks like here. But uh, this is kind of a, this is going to be kind of a key area here at this kind of forty three and a half. Right. If we can't get the buyers up higher here. All right. Um, your CVD, Vish, all your CVD setting uh, or Indicator shows difference. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can set it for the session time, which means, okay, so see, see the sellers, see what we we're just talking about right here. That's where the, the this is where the, the, the sellers drove it lower, right? And we're going lower. So I, I'm kicking myself I just missed that um, as I'm trying to trying to get to a question but like uh, that's exactly what we're looking for right uh, this if the buyers can't do it they're gonna fail we're looking at this point here and now the sellers drove, drove it right back below it here okay now the, the buyers are still trying 
right? But uh, all right, we get one more move back down to about 41 here, more sellers. We're looking for 38. Okay, this, see the distinction in this move and the volume as well? Okay, sellers are taking control, right? They're moving it away from this whole area that we were just seeing this, it kind of being a, a battleground here, bashing back and forth here. All right, so we're looking for our second leg on these sellers to move it away. And let's see it, let's see it right around here, around 40 and a half, we need to see those sellers. And we're not, and we're not. The, the bid is kind of showing some interest here and we're finding a few buyers here. Um, yeah, so we're moving right back up to, to retest the, this uh, kind of point of control area here on our, our pivot line. So let's see, Vishal, what's up with your CVD um, related to session time? Yeah, you can set it for session time or for the, um, uh, it's up to you to, to play around with it. Um, you know, what, what you find, I, I find, I like the chart range. Uh, so I can zoom in, I can see details and I can zoom out and see the session. Uh, that's the way that uh, I, I like to look at it. All right, let's see these sellers come in right here, right now and drop it down to 38. Sellers are taking control, they're driving it away, establishing value in a new area, uh, looking for lower liquidity to test. All right, uh, let's see, Akbar, please go over one more time uh, defining a pivot point. Yeah, the pivot point is like, um, uh, you know, it, it's related to the structure that we're seeing, okay? Uh, and then, uh, then, then, like right up here, you see the structure, and then we're looking for sellers to drop it here, okay? And they did, right? Now we retested to where it dropped from, right? Uh, and then uh, we came back down again. I, I still, I still look at this, and I'm still looking for sellers to drop this, okay? Uh, what's interesting about this little move in here is we came back up here, and we get buyers back up above it, right? That's where. Um, uh, you know, this is now, it's it's kind of already become the pivot point right in this this area here. You can draw these up very, very simply. Um, you can even see it in all the all the way through here, you know, is, is still kind of defining it, it right in through here. I, I like this definition the best though. Um, it looks the kind of the cleanest and then buyers back above it, right? Now, typically if they're gonna take control uh, and the buyers, they're trying to take control here, right? And they, they just didn't. Uh, it, it came back up into about 47-ish and it, 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 it came right back down. And then we started to kind of like see selling below it, buyers above it. They're really kind of battling here. Uh, and uh, we're trying to get some insight here. Uh, finally, um, we uh, looked like, uh, look like buyers had it again here. And they didn't. Um, looks like they're trying to get it yet again here. And we noted, okay, if they don't, we're looking for sellers here. Okay, it's kind of the at that point, uh, Akbar, that the pivot point kind of changed a little bit in my mind. It became this here, right? If we get see see where this is how it's defined. This is where the buyers came in and started to move it higher. Okay, so the 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 question is. If we get sellers below that area here, then they're going to drive it lower, right? Uh, and uh, and 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 uh, this is kind of the pivot area. We usually assume that buyers are going to support it here, okay? But we go through the scenario if if they don't, and we we're going to find sellers through it, and they're going to push it, okay? And that's what happened here. You can even see that it came back up and almost retested this new kind of established pivot point right in here. Okay, they happen all the time. Uh, you know, here's another one, right? R right in here, you can see it kind of, uh, again, structure, right? Buyers above it, and then kind of sellers below it here. Okay, you can kind of see another one right here. Okay, see how they drove it kind of down below, retested, can't get back above it, and then they're driving it lower here. All right, so it's understanding the order flow around these points here uh, can give a lot of insight. 
Okay, we were looking for the move lower into, we said 38. Okay, we've we've come down further into 37 and we found a, a, a ton of buying here. Okay, you can see it. All right, so it's still a battle here today uh, between these buyers and sellers. Uh, sellers did take control below it, but then we see this kind of stuff here and it kind of upends that uh, uh, clarity. All right. Okay, I hope that answers your question, Akbar. Uh, good morning, Tom. Uh, FT71 said in the trader bite that there are micro contracts. Yes, for that, I did see that uh, from AMP uh, for DAX and the Euro stocks. Um, I don't know about other brokers. Uh, you'd have to reach out to them. Um, volume is pretty minimal. Um, well, yeah, it, it, it's not us, Tom, that's offering these. Um, it's it's the uh, it's the data provider or the broker. It's it's not really the data provider either. It's 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 the it's the broker, right? So uh, yeah, you'll have to reach out uh, and and ask. Okay, but yeah, it sounds like everyone you know that everyone's going that direction. So, um, which is great. And you know, FT was responsible for doing that too. Um, he was a big part of the of of, of the responsibility. Uh, so he's uh, working hard for for all of us. Um, okay, Matthew, is there a way to thicken the VWAP line? Uh, not sure. Let's see. Let's uh, go to uh, put the VWAP on here, and then uh, let's go to VWAP settings. Just right-click on it. And no, I don't think so. Pick a color. Just color. Yeah, that's it. You can see VWAP is kind of acting a little bit like that, um, some of those pivot lines as well, a little bit. Okay. Uh, Thanks, uh, Yuri. Uh, uh, Forty-one, thirty-seven, and three quarters is also a <laughs> um, a, a POC. All right. Now, a, a question here, like. Um, and this is where, you know, we, we need to, you know, kind of keep, this is where it can be a little challenging sometimes, I think, um, you know, because we all see something like this and go, like, oh boy, you know, let, let's, you know, buyers can come in and, and move it right back to, to 44 uh, up here. However, if we look at the bigger picture here, the structure okay, is still bearish, okay? This buying in here, we're below it as well here right now. This this is a kind of a pivot right here at 40, and we're seeing buying or selling below it. Sellers are still in control in this bigger move. So we're still kind of structurally, you know, we're looking for the, the move down back to 37 here. Now, structurally, sellers are in control. Okay, it's making lower highs and lower lows still. Right? But there's there's kind of a caveat here, and that's that's where this is not too clear, and that's this, this huge buying right here. Okay, and that really sticks out like a sore thumb. I mean, like literally sticks out. Look at that, you know, look at that big, huge green dot, right? And this big bar here. Uh, so, it, you know, we're, we need to get below that area here on some pretty big selling to start to drive this lower uh, again. All right, and that was some icebergs as well. And yet again here, more icebergs. So these, these, um, these larger players are supporting this area right here, right now, okay, with their buying, okay, and they're they're feeling the squeeze and the pain, so, and they're pulling liquidity. So this is we always go with liquidity first, and and uh, you know the the order flow first. So we have we have the opportunity here for sellers to drop it. Yep, they're pulling here. Let's see them drop it here. Let's see it. And they're not yet. And hit it, sellers. You should be able to hit it. There they go. Okay. 
This is another indicator, uh, William, and I, I don't want to go over this either, um, but uh, uh, we will in the future, okay? All right, there we go, guys. Nice move on down lower. Okay, it's still going lower here. Uh, the offer is looking pretty strong here, so still looking for lower here. Uh, back down to maybe 30. Strong move. Okay, not a whole strong bunch of uh, sell volume here, but the, the move is good. <clears throat> Another easy thing, I mean, uh, instead of like the battling and, and, and looking and waiting and watching for all of this in here is look for the winner, right? We knew the sellers won the, won the battle here. They pulled it away. Okay. Uh, once we saw that this was easy, this was so much easier, right? Look at even the retest back up here. Okay. Well, that's a little tricky because, uh, you know, there's some good buying up in here and they could move it back to, to, um, uh, 44. Okay. But once we see that, that kind of broke in here, this little, our little line that we, we drew up and we see the selling in here. Yeah. We're looking for it to go lower. You can even see the retest here. Okay. It's still, it's still below this little area here, right? Sellers still in control, right? Okay. The only caveat was this guy here. Okay. But we, we noted like, again, once we could get through that on some selling, you know, we can go lower. All right. So anyway, uh, let me, uh, before I forget again, um, let's go back to uh, yesterday. I want to go through that higher time frame stuff. Okay, this is where we left off yesterday. And we we're talking all about this little area in here. And we saw the selling drop. Okay. And then uh, we, were, we were thinking, well, it's the same idea. If we can get sellers below on this higher time frame, we get them below here. Okay at 54, I think we said 55, 54 yesterday. Um, we're, get, we're looking for the move back down to this top of this range here. And then I have still, I still have the same chart here. Okay, the other area was here. All right. Uh, and uh, now that one we tested today. Okay, we got the bounce here, right? We got the move down and it came back down again. It tested to here, okay? Look where it kind of struggled to kind of buy through or didn't really struggle that much, but there was buying and selling in here and then finally decisive move and breakout. That's why we're looking for the test back down to here. Okay. And typically same idea, same idea as a pivot point. We're looking for buyers to support it here. If they don't, we're looking for the, the move uh, into the lower area here. Okay. And if it went, if it went through this yesterday, Likely, I, I think we probably would have come back down to here, okay? or maybe maybe here uh, to begin with, because this you can also see another little area where they bought. Okay, so either here, 26 down to um, or 14, something like that, right? Now look where we are right now. Okay, sellers coming in. We're back down to this swing here. Okay, now if we don't find buyers here, okay, and we know on this time frame who's in control. Okay, this is the one-hour chart. Okay, who's in control? Sellers in control here, also here, and they're they're still in control here, no doubt. All right? All right. So uh, anyway, if we do get buyers come in, we're we're looking for them to take it right back up to here, 39 or 40, let's call it. Okay. This this looks kind of like the point of control here. There's just a lot of volume in this little area here. So if we go back to book map and we take a look. Yeah, you know, we can see eh, that it's around 39 here. The point of control, though, is actually, let's see where it is. Point of control is actually up here at 45, all right? Uh, wow, we're still, I'm still getting a readout here. This is, this is something new, guys. I, I don't want to cover this here uh, with you, but um, uh, it has to do with options in real time. Okay, I'm just going to really skew this so we don't get a reading. Jesus. That's a lot of that's a lot of buying. 
<laughs> All right, we'll go to a hundred thousand. Ten thousand as high as I can go. All right. Jesus. All right. Well, anyway, we got to look at it. Um. Uh, use aggregation. Okay. There we go. Thanks, Doug. Uh, still in there. <laughs> anyway, uh, it was, well, that's okay. Just uh, please disregard that for now. Um, uh, in anyway, the um, yeah. So we're we're, we're matching the order flow on a higher time frame and lower time frame here. Okay. So that's uh, the point. And uh, I, I mean, it's just this guys. It's the same stuff over and over again, right? So now if we do get the sellers here and they're going to push it through, like we should get a nice move here, not down to 25 and then maybe down to 14. Okay. First, the first test I'm looking for is 25. We're already below the swing. Okay. So uh, that's the higher time frame outlook here. Okay. Now we got to go over the opposite scenario though. And, and, uh, uh, see what that might look like so we're prepared for it, okay? And let's mark the chart up, okay? What we're looking for here is we have some pivot points uh, and some uh, structure that needs to be broken by the buyers, okay? And we need to see really distinctive buying coming in, all right? And uh, and maybe, they're yeah, they're gonna mount their attack here already, okay? Now they need to get through this little area here. Now, if we get enough buying in here, Okay, um, the first test is up to here, 33. Okay, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm actually, um, I, we, we've seen it so many times, and like it, you know, it's a lesson to learn. Uh, really, it's a lot harder to try to find and and get these reversals. Okay, so if if you're if you're taking a counter trend trade, it, it has to look really good. All right. Uh, and uh, if we get the buyers here, okay, and we're looking for only a test back up to about 32 and a half, 33, that's it, okay, for the, to begin with, all right? Okay, and I would take a partial profit and maybe even full profit, okay? Now, if we start to see a reversal pattern that's, that's different, right, uh, like we kind of did earlier today, uh, then, uh, uh, you know that that'll that'll tell us something else, all right. But these kinds of moves here, um, you know, sellers are still massively in control. Okay, so and here they go. See the pivot here. Okay, all right. So let's see if the sellers can hit it again here. Drop it. Go to lower lows down to uh, 28 uh, and lower here. Okay, they're bidding up in here. I know it makes it more convoluted to, to read and understand. They are bidding up in here, and that's kind of bullish, and we're finding a few buyers, but the structure, look at the structure first. Okay, structure is bearish, no doubt. Okay, and we go with structure first. It's just so important. And for the, and we got lots of new traders in here, which is great, so I, and I just, you know, I'll, I'll go over it. I, I, you know, some of you guys have been in here for, for years. Um, so, you know, uh, I, I still want to show it though. So don't roll your eyes too much, but see, see how that kept us out of this. And, and, and we're looking for the sellers into this area here to, to drive us lower. And here it is. Like, here's our pivot. Here's our, we don't really see it in here. Here we see it. Now we're starting to see the sellers, right? And go with the trend. Okay, it's so much easier. All right, even when you see this, oh, it might be breaking, you know, we might find the, the buyers. Well, we might, but it, you know, once we start to see this in here, uh, right in here especially, like, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're looking for it to drive lower.
Okay, order flow wise, that, that's the case. All right, so I wanted to just go through a quick exercise and that was to take off the heat map and take off the volume and look at structure. And this is what I mean by structure, okay? Areas of consolidation and breakout and, and, and trend, okay? Higher highs, higher lows, et cetera. It makes a massive difference, okay? Uh, it's something to lean on uh, and rely on. Consolidation, breakdown, consolidation, breakdown consolidation false breakout fails comes back in break down to here and through it kind of retest back up to right about here okay uh, i'd like to see it come up maybe a little higher but it didn't uh, and uh, it's still bearish here okay looking for the next leg lower and a new structure down here okay consolidation all right, so read that structure. Now let's get rid of all these lines and then let's look at volume within the structure, okay? And this is the other um, really big insight, okay? See the volume pressure below structure now? So try to drive it lower here, okay? Into a new uh, structural area like we just outlined, okay? So understanding volume within the structure, all right, okay, it's just so key to understand. And see how easy it is to make these moves? And it's just, it's so easy. Uh, and um, uh, then we want the third element though. So now we have volume pressures within the structure. We have <laughs> lower highs, uh, not enough buyers up in these areas, more sellers at lower lows. Lower lows, still more selling, looking for it. Boom. Uh, and then now let's add the heat map though. Okay, because we want to understand the other element here that's really critical, and that's the auction. What if there was just massive liquidity here? Massive, right? Uh, and, uh, and we see icebergs as well. Uh, and let's say it was even more liquidity down here, but they're all bidding up in front of it. That'd be really bullish, right? So uh, we would uh, we would rethink that one. Uh, <laughs> Daryl, uh, you sold at thirty-eight. Uh, Daryl, um, it was it was very nice chatting with you uh, yesterday. Uh, please though, like um, th these webinars here, this is this is uh, it's really not a, a trading uh, webinar. Um, uh, this is about order flow, reading, and putting the pieces together. Uh, so that you can trade however you like. Uh, and uh, wow, you traded from 38 though? That is that is quite a, that is a nice move. Very nice move. Uh, you've learned a lot today. Oh, that's great. Um, yeah, uh, uh, so, um, you know, putting these pieces together um, uh, and understanding that it's based on our course, our educational course, and then we're just we're just doing the 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 course live and in, in the forward looking analysis uh, uh, you know mode, um, but um, uh, the um, uh, it's really about because you know we'll cover order flow we we covered order flow when it was bashing around on that pivot point right it, there was no real opportunity there and, and we're looking for it and we thought maybe up here there was and then you know then we saw it down here and then like it really wasn't too clear until we got to here, right? And we saw that there's more selling here again, and they're going to try to push it through, okay? Um, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, so you got to end up here at 38. Wow, that's that's quite a nice trade. Quite a nice trade. Um, uh, anyway, uh, uh, you know, we, we will cover some of the trade management in here, but that's not the, the key here. That's why we have Scott and we have JTrader. They will cover their way of trading. Uh, their their uh, trade management as well, and we'll get a lot of insight from their trade man trade management, and they're also their psychology, how their 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 kind of mental view of the market, right, or mentality, you know, their outlook, uh, and uh, you know, like uh, Scott will put his stop up here, J Joseph he won't, he'll be looking for, he'll be putting it very very low, you know, so uh, different ways of managing, different ways of of um, of trading, etc. All right, so um, <clears throat> anyway, that's why we 
we we offer that it was highly requested for years we got it so I, you know i i'd like to think we offer a pretty pretty robust uh, um uh, trading education now see the distinction here right now see how they're coming in right now all right so we don't we're still bearish but like we're looking for a move right back to here to 26 and a half right where there was 27 where they dropped it okay now they're trying to push it through here okay again here's a kind of a new pivot point right here and i, I you know i call i've been calling them pivot points um and i know there, there's that connotation is or that maybe might not be the the right um, word for it, but uh, because we we talk about floor trader pivots, etc. Um, but it's just where um, we're looking for order flow above it or below it here to give us some insight. Okay, see how the buyers are trying to push it through here, right? Trying to upend all these sellers here. Now this is what's really I'm I'm fascinated by it because they they've got the power if they want it here. It looks like. Looks like there's enough buying pressure. There's enough to lift it up to here and then huge buying up here. And that's not a stop run. This looked like a big stop run here. It really did. And it's stops are being, they're getting trickled out here. But this here looked like a huge stop run. Guys, this is not a stop run. This is new buying and they're just, they just dumped in here. Okay. So this looks like it's kind of at, at the end here. If this is new buying and they're going to buy some more here, well, we're looking for this to go higher now, okay? This is another way to read and, and use your stop iceberg tracker, okay? When is it not giving you, when you see big moves like this and it's not a stop run or an iceberg order? We've seen it on the way down. This is this is kind of interesting to see it on the way up, right? So this is new buying, right? Now, <laughs> if that's massive buying, I'm looking for those guys to, to um, they're going to support it you know, somewhere around here. Okay, it might be down here. Okay, it might be here, but it, you know, I, I would imagine this, it's really kind of this this pivot point here around 27, okay? Is, that's where they're gonna support it. So pullbacks to here and, and looking for buyers to support it. All right, well, we can see yet again, <laughs> wow, 38 and a half is where you got in, Daryl. You want a beautiful trade. Um, uh, we can see again, though, the battle is really shaping up here. You can see the sellers on the offer up here at 30. A lot, a lot of liquidity, more more than we've seen, right? So it's it's this is going to be kind of a battle area, it looks like to me. All right, more questions. Um, Path of release resistance seems to be lower. So Wi-Fi, yeah, exactly, Alan. Exactly. I mean, uh, it's a, you know, it's a really hard one to learn. I, I've heard, I, I, you know, it, what really gave me kind of a lot of confidence on it um, is uh, I heard from a lot of uh, professional traders. Uh, <coughs> one in particular, uh, he, he's he's just excellent. I mean, one of the best traders I know. Uh, and he, he said it took him a long time to learn uh, to go with the trend. Uh, so, uh, you know, work on that one. Work on that one. We've been trying to work on it in, in these webinars of just saying, look, stick with the structure, right? Structure first, then order flow within the structure, okay? And this here would have kept you out of it. Okay, because here was the move back up to where it dropped from here. It looks like it, it might re be a big reversal here, right? But we know better, right? We're looking for it. Uh, we're looking for sellers here. Once we get it, we're looking for the move lower. Sellers are still in control regardless of this. They're massively in control. Look at the volume in here and look at the buy volume in here compared to here, right? Okay, this is something a little different though. Look at the buy volume in here. Okay, now is structurally, it, it's it's kind of trying to break it here. Okay, but we're still bearish. Structurally, we're still bearish. Okay, <laughs> now remember we put our line right here at 27. Okay, that's where we've been bouncing off of and buyers have been supporting it here. Okay, so this structure could break here, right here this swing 
this little area right here at 29 and i'm i'm looking for I'm looking for it to break, actually. I'm, I'm looking for these buyers to mount their attack here. I'm looking for these guys at 30 to pull uh, and um, and get these buyers and trade it right back up into, well, through 30, back to 31, maybe back up into, uh, may, maybe back to 35. You know, we also have VWAP here at, at 32. All right. Okay, let's go on. I'll try to cover this really quickly. The nuances in this structure is not so bullish right now. Uh, we just made a lower high again, even though there's buying in here, it still made a lower high. Okay, and it made a lower low here. Okay, so sellers can come in now. Right, it's it's very slight, right? But it's there. Okay, see the sellers coming in. And see them try to push it down into some of these other areas. Let's see if they can reach this liquidity here at 23 and a half. Okay, so uh, you know, understanding that they're trying here, but they can't do it, right? So again, and it looked kind of bullish in here, right? I was looking for it, and I, I wanted to cover this because they, they, the structure does not fail us. It typically does not fail us, right? So stick with structure, okay? Uh, understanding like uh, um, uh, who's in control in the structural areas. Okay, Alan, you got the uh, 10 year spiking. Looks like an inverse relationship is EN. Yep. Yeah, so so you can see, I mean, uh, and this is this is actually a pretty interesting correlation. Um, and we kind of been been hearing about it for some months now of people starting to pile maybe into the bonds uh, and out of the stocks. And so that's what Alan, Alan is looking at right now. Okay, and it seems to be, that correlation seems to be pretty nice here. I haven't looked at it, I haven't seen it. So, I, I mean, I'm taking, taking Alan's word for it here. All right, so we, now look look where we went here. I mean, that we were looking at kind of like smaller structures and for them to try to drive it, drive it down into 23 and a half, they did. But again, <laughs> let's again look at structure and volume within structure. This is where these guys initiated this big, big buy volume. It was here, right here, right? This is the, the little structure it broke out from on big buy volume up here this whole range, they're still supporting it. Look at them come streaming right back in, okay? So <laughs> what we're looking for here, and I'll just clear the drawings again. Um, what we're looking for here is uh, if we're gonna go lower, we need to see it, this, this area here around 23 and a half is where we need to see big selling. Okay, and we're not yet. Or not. In fact, we can make an argument that you're bullish from this point on, at 23 and a half on. Okay, buyers in control in this from this time frame on. Okay, only in this smaller time frame though. Okay, bigger picture, sellers are still in control. Okay. So whatever time frame you're trading, um, that will matter. Uh, Dean, what's your VWAP reset uh, on the ES? I think mine, mine is for 930, yeah. It, it's incorrect, I, I know that. I just don't have data that goes back till 6 you know, p.m. Uh, uh, from yesterday. Yeah, so it, yeah, my, I, I'm, I'm aware, aware of that. It, it kind of like throws it off here. Um, I, I usually just reset it at the cash session. Uh, so at least you guys could could know where I'm, <laughs> at least where my VWAP is coming from. All right, guys. Well, so uh, we're coming back back up into this area here, right? Buyers are supporting it here. Okay, you can see there's a lot of buying in here. All right now, let's see if they can get up here a little bit higher here at 29, and and let's see if they can they can tangle with these guys here at 30. Uh, and try to trade through it. And you can see right now, we're just exhausted out on the buy side. So we might drop right back down into about 24 and a half. 
Nope. No, they're gonna they're gonna mount their attack right now. All right, buyers, let's see it pop into 30 and maybe uh 31 here. Okay, the bid starting to show a little interest at 26. Let's zoom in here. Yeah, 24 to 26, the bid. Yeah, buyers are gonna try to they're gonna take them on here, it looks like. And the, the sellers are, they're, they're, I mean, this battle is, is mounting here, as you can see. Sellers, even, they even drop the liquidity down lower. That's, uh, that's pretty aggressive. And, but buyers are attracted to it. Yeah, I'm looking for buyers to try to pop it through here. Now again, this, this this trade and this kind of or not trade, um, this order flow <laughs> reading here um, is it, we're looking for it, right? And we're looking for that scenario for the buyers to do this. Okay, we're not getting much out of it though. But look how much we got out of this on this move down. Okay, I mean it's just so much easier, right? And this this is so much harder. Okay. So anyway, we cover it anyway. Uh, that's the point. Um, but uh, in in terms of like you know um, developing your own types types of strategies, you know, and and going with the flow. I mean, my God, like uh, you know, Daryl just knocked it out of the park. You know, thirty eight and a half down to, well, let's say let's say he got out here around twenty twenty four. You know, so um, that's a 20, 24, 25 point move there. Not not too shabby. All right, guys, we got to go. Um, uh, let, let's take a, a quick look at um, if Dylan getting greedy. Um, take some partials. Like, look, uh, this is this is um, <clears throat> uh, you know, take it from Alan. Uh, uh, we've we've gotten Alan so trained on it now, um, you know, just hit build confidence. Uh, take um, you know take the easy trades that are higher probability, and take your profit. Okay, even if it goes you know ten points further, so what? You've you made it. You had a small win. You're in the green. You have confidence. You look for the next one, and just do it again and again. Right. Once you start to build confidence in that and you start to start to see that, ah, you know what, this could actually turn into a higher time frame move, then take a partial profit. OK, uh, and then move your stop up. Okay? Now, what's going to happen a lot is you're going to get stopped out at break even, uh, but you, you're going to have a partial profit taken. OK, now you're building you're still building confidence, though, and you are set up for the higher time frame move. Right, and then that higher time frame move will come, okay, every now and then, and uh, and then you'll be you'll get better at understanding when that it's higher probability that higher time frame uh, trade will come, okay, and that's when you're going to really start to nail it. All right, <laughs> anyway, it was a consideration. Uh, uh, tomorrow, guys, we have J Trader, Stocks Trader. Uh, looking forward to that. That'll be. Uh, at 10 a.m. Uh, there's a few things that need to go over with you. Um, let me put this into the chat for you. Uh, we have two webinars. Okay, so we always I always put this webinar uh, in here for you guys on Friday because uh, uh, it's different than the link you're using right now. The reason being is we open it up to everybody on Friday so they can get a taste of our education. Right uh, here we go, guys. Let's see it. Looking for these buyers to try to lift it. Uh, let's see it. Let's see it. Up into 30, 31. <coughs> um, what was I going to say? Uh, uh, the other link I put in there is um, the uh, Thursday's uh, stock webinar at 1 p.m. So if you're interested in that, it's only stocks. Okay, that's one that's open to all as well. Okay, it exhausted out up here on the buy side, looking really good in here, and then it came back up in here and 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 just didn't make it. You know, that's that's why we want that's why we want to see the buying not here. We want to see the buying up here. Okay, 
and right now it's really convoluted. See, see, even here is kind of a micro pivot. See how the buyers, sellers below it, right? Boom. Okay, buyers trying to mount another attack here. Okay, if we can get sellers below it right here, this could be a nicer move to the downside, actually. All right, so let's see if they can do it. Okay, so we're looking for sellers here around 26 and a half. Okay, if they can do it, like we can, we can get a nicer move here. Okay, right back down to, I don't know, I'd say 25 to begin with. Now we're gonna, they're, they're, they're still buying pressure. They're still supporting this here. Nice, Daryl, got 10 handles out of that, beautiful. I'm just curious to see if we get these sellers come in right here or not. Is this is not this is not high probability. I mean, look, we're just not we're just not quite sure. Okay, but we're looking for someone to really, really kind of dramatically take control here. I mean, even in the mic, even this kind of nuances in the structure here, you you would say this is kind of bearish in here. Okay, it could not make a higher high. Neither here, and it's more buy volume. Neither here, and we did make a lower lower low here. Okay. So if we can come back down and, and the, the key for this to break is to see the sellers down here around 26 and a half or 27. That's what we need to see. Okay. Okay. Now, if we get the buyers back up here, see how they just pulled here, opens the door for buyers. Okay. If we get the buyers up here at 28 and three quarters, okay, we should get the pop up into the higher liquidity. Okay, so it, it, both scenarios, and we don't really have any insight at the moment. Okay, but one one will unfold here. All right, guys. Well, anyway, let's uh, we'll wrap it up. We'll call it a day. Uh, thanks for coming, everybody, and we will catch up with you tomorrow with uh, with Joseph uh, J Trader. Okay. Yeah. Have a good day, everybody. Bye bye.